three of these latest shootings happened in less than an hour and a half last night. In fact, those two murders taking place less than 15 minutes apart. The crimes going down in different areas of North St. Louis with all of the victims being in their 20s. This morning, nobody is in custody. The violence started with a homicide scene on the 4400 block of Elm Bank in North City. That is in the Greater Ville neighborhood. Police getting that call just after 8.30 last night. When officers got to that scene, they discovered a 21-year-old man who had been shot multiple times in his car. Authorities tell us the man was pronounced dead at that scene. Homicide detectives called in on the case. This was the second night in a row where someone in the city was murdered in their car. Sunday night, a man in his 50s was found shot and killed inside of a vehicle at Goodfellow and Wyndham, just south of I-70 in North City. Back to last night now, just 13 minutes after that murder on Elm Bank, another homicide scene took place at Hamilton and Cope Brilliant about 845. That is in the Wells Goodfellow neighborhood on the north side. In that case, police say they responded to the scene, but the victim, a 27-year-old man, had already been taken by a private vehicle to the hospital. We're told he suffered a gunshot wound to his stomach and was later pronounced dead. Homicide detectives also called in to lead that investigation. Fast forward now to just before 10 o'clock last night, St. Louis police rushing to yet another shooting scene. This one at Carter and Shreve in the Penrose neighborhood, this case being classified as a first degree assault. In that case, police told us a 26 year old woman was shot in her leg. She was conscious and breathing when she was taken to the hospital. With this latest violence, there have now been at least 48 homicides so far this year in the city of St. Louis. Compare that to last year at this time when there were 44 murders. For now, live downtown, Chris Renier, Fox News. Thanks, Chris. Well, some